your opinion, what interesting trends and services are worth noting and paying attention to today? You know, I think um, in our connected society, um, you know, people um, not only want to buy things, you know, at their own convenience, um, you know, 7 by 24, but they also want service 7 by 24. It's easy to sort of see that from a consumer standpoint, but if you think about, you know, in the business world, bring your own device um, has, you know, opened up a whole new level of challenges for businesses and CIOs trying to manage um, security and connectivity within their companies. Um, you know, I also think social media is a, you know, is another big evolving theme and trend that, you know, everybody's on and it's again not just consumers but businesses are using social media to listen to their customer conversations to get information on product and service experiences so you know paying attention to those kinds of things is going to be really important going forward and i think what we're seeing is a need for companies to get really good at proactive support right to anticipate their customers needs before the customers themselves even know what they are and, and we're trying to embrace, we look at service really beyond the customer experience and look at what we call customer success. And, and how we look at it is we want our customers to be very successful with our products. So not just the experience when they buy the product from us or when they have a, an issue and they contact customer service or technical support, but we want to make sure that we're helping them be successful, especially during the critical first 90 days that they're a customer with us and then throughout the customer life cycle. So we take a holistic view of that customer experience and say, how can we actually make the customer successful with our products? And I think that's the emerging trend that I see these days is companies are really trying to, to sort of be with their customers, know their customers, their needs and their requirements and stick with them to help them be successful using the products and not just be reactive to their needs. I think uh, one of the uh, uh, rapidly growing trend in services industry is um, uh, enablement with the information communication technologies. I think uh, uh, just the convergence of information communication technologies such as you know, business analytics, big data, cloud computing, uh, what else, um, video analytics, sensors, smart services, those type of things are converging in a way uh, that will, um, I guess, uh, enable an organizations to create new or advanced services. Uh, so services can uh, reach the customers much faster way than used to be. Probably the most significant trend overall is just the um, continuing uh, interest in speed of service innovation. So a lot of the presentations focused on innovation methods and that it's not a linear process and how many, uh, and I think there was a lot of good insights about uh, how you have to have a culture to get speed. Mike Maddox talked today about Simon Sinek's great book called Start With Why, and it usually takes people days, if not weeks, to start, you know, to figure out their big why. You know, people know what they do and how they do it, but they don't know why they do it. And we spent about an hour and a half, and we got to why very, very quickly. We're problem solvers. We, um, we look for what's important to solve that nobody has solved, what's hard to solve, what other people won't do because it's too hard. We figure out a way to do it. We're, that's the kind of complexity we like. So we looked at the customer experience indexes of uh, major industries, and we found healthcare at the very bottom <laughs> of everybody's index. And when you look at the simplicity indexes of Siegel and Gale, um, guess who's at the bottom? Also, um, healthcare. And so one of our big focuses on verticals is try to take the complexity out of healthcare where we can, um, either in the design or the customer interface, particularly in the customer interfaces, you're trying to acquire the right customers, put them in the right um, products, and keep them long term. I think there's a, a couple of things that are really um, coming into the front, forefront of services innovation. One of those things is around um, the movement from customer engagement to uh, customer experience to customer engagement um, and how you do that. It's not just being aware of what their experience is, but really trying to make sure that they're engaged every step of the way. Another trend uh, is gamification of everything. And if you have kids at home, you know that everything is a game. Um, every app has some sort of gaming. Um, mo mode to it that really tries to get people um, competing and aware of what's happening within um, that particular application that they're working on. Uh, another trend is this whole idea of constantly connected 
and mobile interfaces. Everywhere we go, people are working on their devices. There's really no need to have a home base so much anymore. So as a service provider, what does that mean to us? And what are the things we can do to help make sure our service is still outstanding every time they're having an experience with our company? There's been the rise of what IDC calls the third platform. The first platform being the mainframe, the second platform being the distributed computing, and the ter third platform being um, cloud mobility, social, big data, analytics, internet of uh, things. And what all of these technologies have done, especially for services, is the ability to uh, provide the data and then the intelligence and then the insight to enable companies to co-create value with customers. And that is really significant in services. The other thing is a lot of companies that had been uh, traditionally product companies what they are finding is so that the pace of change is so fast and products are commoditizing so quickly that uh, it's really a challenge to keep up with the growth that the market demands of them. So they are faced with this question of how do we innovate? And the trend is in servitization of these companies. And the other factor for services is that um, building an ecosystem, meaning that innovation doesn't have to be necessarily uh, in one company all vertically integrated. We can tap into our customers, we can tap into our uh, suppliers and build an ecosystem that everyone co-creates together and everyone is successful. Um, and so these are, these are some of the major trends that I see.